Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake, aka Tag, and today we're back again with one of my favorite decks in the game, 2.6 Hog Rider. If you guys are looking for a free-to-play deck, this is probably going to be it for you. The only legendary card in the deck is going to be Log, and the level doesn't really matter that much. A level 10 log does 264 damage and level 13 goblins have 244 hit points. That means if you have a level 10 log, you can kill fully maxed goblins and you're able to kill goblins three levels higher than your log. If you guys are playing 2.6 hog rider against higher card levels, you gotta level up your musketeer first. It's your main source of damage. And you're gonna be constantly kiting units into it with an ice golem. If your musketeer is under leveled, it will just straight up die to a fireball and you won't be able to kill any big pushes. For a whole year, I was requesting musketeers nonstop and I was buying every Every shop offer with them. And before we get into some games and assert dominance, we have a quick sponsor on the channel today. All sponsorship money that we make goes directly towards improving our videos. As you guys saw, we just got a new microphone. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake AK Tag, and today's video will be sponsored by Epic Games. Battle Breakers is a brand new cartoon inspired hero RPG built by a very small and passionate team at Epic Games. The premise of the game is there's a whole bunch of monsters trapped in the world of the greatest heroes, and you're gonna try to build and assemble your own team to destroy those monsters claim back your world, and create the best team possible. There's over a thousand different dungeons that you guys can explore over volcanoes, glaciers, forests, you name it. There's everything. And with the Battle Pass, the Skybreaker Quest, and the Hero Store, there is so much potential for you to build almost any team that you could possibly want. As you guys can see, we are unlocking a new hero right here to power up our team to the higher level and progress through dungeons even quicker. Let's see it, baby. Here we go. Let's go. And we just unlocked a brand new ninja that attacks multiple times. Look at that, man. Ever since I downloaded Battle Breakers, I've been absolutely hooked. And one of the best things about it, it's downloadable on mobile and PC. So no matter where you are, you can still game. So make sure if you guys haven't already to go check out the link in the description of the video and in the pinned comment to download Battle Breakers today. And after downloading Battle Breakers, make sure to use code SIRTAGCR to support me after you defeat the first three bosses. I'm gonna go for a hog rider to open up this game. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's happening. And me is gonna go in for a witch. Oh no, he's got a tornado too. Mika, what are you doing this for me? Like, why you gotta be like that, buddy? Gotta go for an ice golem. He's got a fireball, but he's not able to kill it in one hit because we have adroitly leveled up our musketeer to endure the harshest conditions. Enduring the crucible of the fireball. <laughs> Let's go in for a night spirit at the river, see if we can get some easy chip damage. It's not really gonna do too much for us, but it's at least gonna reach the tower. Unfortunately, it wasn't in coordination with the Musketeer. We're gonna go in for a Hog Rider here. He's gonna go in for some very easy log bait. Let's just go and snag it with the log. Give me that value. Oh no, okay. Unfortunately, that didn't walk right up into it because the Hog Rider prevented that pathing for a little bit. So we were forced to drop an Ice Golem. We're still in an okay spot. The one thing that I'm a little bit scared about is he's just gonna be able to fireball every single time I drop my Musketeer. So I might wanna drop it up a little bit higher so then he's not gonna be able to hit our tower. I think that's acceptable. Maybe I go in for Fireball Log here just to be able to kill this safe and sound. Especially after... Never mind, never mind. It was just a prank. It was just a prank, Mika. Do not take my tower now. Do not spawn another set of skeletons. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of love because of that. If you spawn another set of skeletons, I wouldn't have been friends with you anymore. I would have X had to X you out of my contacts list, man. I'm gonna go in for... A Musketeer and then Ice Golem to body block the goblins again. And I'm thinking that we're in an okay spot. I'm gonna go in for a Hog Rider Ice Spirit just to get some more damage. I think that Mika is just gonna consistently go in for Witches on defense and then drop a Giant Skeleton and then clone it right after. If the Musketeer gets on top of the Witch, we're in a great spot. Otherwise, we're not gonna be able to kill it. Awesome, now I'm able to Fireball Log it. It's weird that you're having to get a Musketeer hit to finish off the, the Witch with the Fireball, but that's what we have to do in this day and age, guys. Our cards aren't properly leveled. Uh, we can't really rely on spells to kill a level 13 witch, boys. So we're gonna go for a Hog Rider here on the left-hand side because we have a Musketeer still alive and we want to bait out more Elixir from him. We haven't seen a Skarmy or anything like that. He's only got a Goblin Gang, which really isn't too big of a threat. Go for a Cannon here. I want to pull his Giant Skeletons into the Ice Golem Bomb, or the Ice Golem Death. Ice Golem Bomb, that's so meme -y. Ice Golem has a bomb, boys. Oh, this is really bad. We're going to lose the tower. Can I claw out my way back? I think if he just uses a Goblin Gang and doesn't Tornado, this Hog Rider might get a hit. It's not going to get two, though. He tried to. He tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. I have to Fireball, and that Witch is going to walk out. It's so unfortunate. I had to Fireball there. Okay. We're going to go in for 
I'm trying to think of how can I defend this adequately. I need a log and then ice spirit and then get back to an ice golem. Skeletons here. This giant skeleton dies away from our tower. We might be okay. It's looking like it might want to hit our tower though. <laughs> oh, it was so close. It was really looking like it was going to go for my tower there, guys. That was really clutch. Can we claw our way back? I think we got to go in. We got to go pre-log this goblin gang, please. Oh, wait. Did he already drop goblin gang? I don't know, man. It's like never wanting to fall for our trap card. Just go for a musketeer. Same lane. He might clone this. We'll log it. He'd actually go in for a cannon here. Let's pull him after. We'll log the witch. We're in an okay spot because we get musketeer counter push on both sides. Which seems weird, but it's, it's really solid. We want an ice spirit hog. Ice comb in the pocket. So then that's going to be the tower damage. Most of the tower damage. So then the king tower is hitting that. So then the hog rider has way more HP then. Good stuff for me. Want to log early. Need to wait for that to die. Musketeer here anyway. See, if the giant skeleton kills the musky, we could be in a bad spot. Still going to fireball this. It's going to take two logs, but it's going to give us shift damage. With one minute and 30 seconds left, I think we can actually win this game. Alright, the way I want to play this is weird. Oh, I can't do it. I can maybe still go and kill the witch and then fireball here. It's just looking awkward. We need to play defensive here. We can't still finish off the game. Giant Skeleton is really going to do so much damage. I need Musketeer in the middle. It's the only way. It's the only way, boys. And then I need a fireball, if that doesn't do enough. So one of the best things that you can do is Musketeer in the middle to finish off games really quickly. And also, you want a Hog Rider before you drop the Musketeer, if it is at like over a thousand damage. That's the only way that you can finish off games in some situations that are tight. Otherwise, if I try to get a Hog Rider through, he's 110% just going to stop me in my tracks with a Tornado, and then I'm just screwed. Let's go for a Hog Rider here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's good. This guy's going to go in for a Mega Minion, and he's also going to go in for e Barbs. Oh my gosh. All right, dude, you're a bit wild. Let's go in for an Ice Comb to kite everything and then go in for a Musketeer after. This guy's got star-leveled E-Barbs. This guy is so insane. Whoa. All right, that's a level 13 Miner with star levels on it. I don't know if I can beat this guy. I'm going to go for a Hog Rider in the left, see if we can get some damage. Trying to get some counter push in the left-hand side since we have the Musky. And we're going to get a lot of damage here. A lot of damage with that Musketeer, just not on the tower. It's going to be on other level 13 units. Okay, so if you guys haven't already figured it out, the number one card that you have to max out first in this deck is going to be Musketeer. So then it does not die to Fireball. It doesn't die to your opponent spamming and then Fireballing your Musketeer. Because if that happens, guys, and he bridge spams me with E-Barbs and he's able to Fireball out my Musketeer, I have no damage per second and I just lose. Even if I kite things, I can just straight up lose the game. So, so important that you actually max out your musketeer first even if your other cards are level 11 like you're just about to see my hog rider level leveling doesn't do anything it's just chilling it's uh maybe gonna get one hit on the tower for some chip damage but main thing is prioritizing defense over everything else unfortunately that did not work out super well for me we're gonna have to go in for skeletons here and we are gonna be able to kill the e-barb which is great but at what cost at what cost so I'm feeling like in this spot, I need to get a Musketeer hit on top of the tower. So I might not want to go for independent Hog Riders, but I feel like he doesn't have E-Barbs back in cycle. So we're going to go for a Hog Rider on the left still. I think that's acceptable. Yeah, he doesn't have E-Barbs back in cycle. So he's dropping Fire Spirits and he's dropping Valkyrie. We want to go on the left-hand side as much as we can now. Recycle Ice Golem, and we're going to go for a Musketeer. We're going to save our Spam. We're going to go for a Cannon here. So then if he goes in for a Miner, it's also going to get killed by the Cannon. We need to get back to Ice Golem primarily. Oh, actually, what is he doing? He activated King Tower? What the heck? What are you doing, buddy? We have to go for a Hog just so that the Fire Spirits don't connect. He's going to E-Barbs, but it's going to be right into a Musketeer, so it's okay. Valkyrie's also okay, too. I'm going to go Skelly's here. Cycle back to an Ice Golem. So we can plot that down pronto. Very high Musketeer, so he's not able to Fireball it. I'm going to have to cycle Skelly's just to kill that a little bit quicker. I think he's down a lot of Elixir. Yeah, there's the E-Barbs. Okay, I think we can get double Musketeer on the right or on the left. We're going to be able to kill the E-Barbs. I think he might just cycle on Miners. 
If he does that, he could be in a pretty bad spot. We'll go for skeletons to keep our musketeer alive. We'll go for a cannon in a spot that we'll be able to kill the miner right after. So we're an ice spirit here. He's gonna fireball the cannon. Okay, I see you. Valkyrie doesn't get a hit. You need a miner us. Be able to get skeletons down? Okay, we need to log that, Ponto. Because then he's able to zap us. Oh my gosh, are we able to win the game? This is insane. No! No! If I just caught the miner with this... Uh, uh, it hurts. It hurts if we caught the miner with the skeletons. We would have won. No! Well, this guy's got a pretty interesting name, man. We're going to go for skeletons at the back, and hopefully we can beat him. I mean, he's kind of wild. He's a little bit frisky. All right. Hopefully he doesn't have Tornado with his Tombstone. I can snipe the Tombstone. That's one of the best plays in the book. If you get Musketeer and you're able to snipe the Tombstone, that's really good. Unfortunately, he's going to have Sparky and we're going headfirst into a Sparky with a Musketeer and an Ice Golem. Maybe I can cycle an Ice Spirit just to sack it. So then the Musketeer is able to get some damage on top of the Sparky. I have to go for a Hog Rider because look at my heart. My cart cycle, it's just horrendous. It's really, really bad. E-Barbs, of course. Of course, man. Okay, how do we play this? I think we go in for Ice Golem, and then go for a Skeleton Surround on top of the Sparky. So then we don't take any damage from that, and then we can maybe Ice Spirit on top of E-Barb to pull it back. That was about as perfect as I could have played it. It's just a very difficult cycle to accommodate. I had to just save the Skeletons for the Sparky, and I also had to drop the Cannon earlier, lower, so then I could still get the Ice Golem to pull. It's awkward, man. Alright, we're going to go in for another Musketeer. We're going to try to snipe that again. It's a really, really good play if we can pull this off successfully and not get a Sparky right into us. Maybe we can get a couple hits because of that log. That's always really good. We're going to Ice Golem early. I actually have to Fireball this. Super awkward. It was really unfortunate. Having to log early gave him so much damage with a Mirrored Clone. I can't believe he even know that. I don't even know how he did that. Super awkward. We're going to get one Hog Rider hit, then we're going to log. We're going to be able to slaughter that. He's going to Fireball. Okay. This is still winnable, guys. This is still winnable. Two Hog Rider hits here, right? Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He's going to Sparky in the left-hand side right now. If he's good. It's fatty. Maybe Sparky's in the right. Let's see. Going to Musketeer here. Okay. Crazy stuff, dude. Maybe I can Hog Rider right into the, the Musketeer. Always good stuff. Musky's going to put in so much work. Great log opportunity. Then we can Ice Golem. He's going to Fireball it. Okay, we take those. This is really good because then we can just go in for a Hog here. Ice Golem pops. It's still not going to kill that. Ice Spirit's going to give us even more value with the Musketeer. I wonder if the Ewarbs go towards us. No, one of them went back. That's so unfortunate. He's going to Sparky. I didn't expect him to Sparky there. Weird stuff, man. Oh, no. It's lost. So wacky. I thought I just lost there. I can still maybe win this. It's got E-Barbs, so I have to just try my hardest to break through this. We can't lose to an E-Barbs player. Oh, no. I have to log that. My Ice Golem doesn't do the dirty. Doesn't do him. Doesn't do him dirty. All right, we have to fireball the skeletons. Oh my gosh, dude. Imagine having an ice golem that doesn't kill Skarmy. That's what it, our worst nightmare is, and it's happening. Especially when he has Tombstone, too. Usually, Sparky decks don't have this stuff. Usually, it doesn't have that at all. I need an ice golem here to kite it off as a lane, or we lose. It's really going to come down to the wire. Come on, Hog Rider, do it for me. Well, we defeated him. That's all that matters, man. That was a really close and scary game.